My name is Yuna Zarai. I am a singer-songwriter from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. This year is 2023. Uh, yeah, <laughs> 2023, wow. Today, I feel great. I feel blessed. Um, I feel happy. I think for me, it would have to be um, getting a gold record from the RIAA uh, for my song Crush featuring Usher. I think that's like the, the highlight of my career. I think that's like, that's like the biggest thing for me um, that I've achieved so far. You know, I can make a lot of things, but I have to say my sambal blachan, I really nailed it guys like uh, in LA you can it's really hard to find sambal blachan and I managed to you know like I found the recipe I found like the right just the right amount of everything um, that I love in a perfect sambal blachan I managed to create that in Los Angeles so I'm really happy about it it tastes just like my mom's sambal blachan so yeah Wow, uh, let's see, the best DM that I've gotten this year. Oh my gosh, I might need to check. Let's see, let's check. Yeah, you, you can take a time check. Let's check. Let's see. Well, I have to like scroll all the way down. I'll give you the best one. Okay, Hang on. all right. It's worth the wait. Worth yeah, it's <laughs> worth the wait, I promise. Um, mm -mm -mm. Okay. The best DM that I gotten this year was from Brendan Boyd. <laughs> and um, I was letting him know, like, uh, we have like a project together. It's a, it's like a, um, he has this art collective thing. It's called Moonlight Arts Collective. And um, I mentioned to him that I was getting sick. And then he said, if you like honey and want a magic kind on hand for emergencies, check this stuff out, available in Amazon too. So he sent me like some recommendations of like some medicines that you can find like online for, you know, like for cough and like if, if you have like a flu. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. But then like, I'm like thinking about it. Wow, I can't believe I'm like talking to Brandon Boyd about how, how to get better, you know, like when you're getting sick. So, um, because I was having flu at the time. So yeah, Brandon Boyd. This is actually a fan question. So it's going to be a fan question of the year. Okay. So this is from Wolves Aries. Why was Masi Yuna chosen as the title of your EP? And what's the story behind it? Uh, Masi Yuna... Um, the reason why I chose that title, actually, I wanted to name, I didn't know what, was, what I was going to name the EP. Um, I was going through all the titles of the songs. Um, Menanti, I was like, maybe I call it Menanti by Yuna, you know, or like uh, Masih Sunyi. But then I kind of like stopped there. I was like, oh, I really like Masih Yuna. And uh, it made sense, a lot of sense because like, um, after moving to LA from Malaysia, I feel like a lot of fans don't understand why I left to go and pursue my dreams. You know, it's a it's a big dream, you know, and um, I also at the same time don't want my fans to feel abandoned, you know, like I wasn't abandoning them, like I was trying to make something better and learn more things out there and come back. Um, as a, a, a better artist um, so I wanted them to know like hey I'm still me I'm Masih Yuna you know, I'm still the same Yuna maybe just an upgraded Yuna you know Yuna 2.0 maybe also when you listen to the songs on the EP you kind of get that vibe too it's like it's me but a very upgraded version of Yuna, the, the Malaysian singer-songwriter who writes and produces, you know, in Malay. So, yeah. Let's see, this year, I really, I actually really enjoy Steve Lacey's album. My husband and I, we listen to his album all the time. Um, I wish I knew, I wish I knew you wanted me, I wish I knew. It's so cute. I wish I wrote that song. 
I would have to say thrifting. Like it's such a, it's kind of weird that it's so huge now. Like I love thrifting, but you know, when I was doing it back then, a lot of kids, like, I guess like my friends, not my friends, you know, like kids my age back then didn't think it was cool to wear old clothes but i don't know i kind of like secondhand stuff like you know bundle clothes so it's nice to see that that is like a, a really big thing now like i have my nieces they're like 10 and 12 they love thrifting you know so um it's also really good for um yeah it's also really good for the environment and um considering you know we always like buy like new clothes from like fast fashion companies it's it's refreshing to see that that in 2023 the trend is to wear something cool but old you know so i'm all about that my style now in 2023 um comfy edgy fun yeah i like to wear i don't know comfortable clothes but also kind of like fun different you know so yeah what advice would i give to you now 2024 um hmm let's see get some rest <laughs> don't work too hard you 2024 book a vacation um and um just take it easy, you know, relax. That's what, that's what I would say to Yuna 2024.